Hey everyone, Georgetown Soaps here. I am making sage and citrus, and this is a Yankee uh, candle fragrance. And the official description is uh, clary sage, crisp lemon, sparkling lime. Um, it's a really complex fragrance. Uh, the top notes are lavender and citrus. The middle notes are geranium and a little bit more lavender. And then the base notes are patchouli, musk, and woodsy notes. And honestly, you don't even like, I don't even notice the patchouli. I would say you can definitely tell it's a little bit musky, um, but it is so nice. It's like a citrus, obviously sage, <coughs> excuse me. It's just a, it's a really good seller. Um, and it's really nice in candles as well. So if you make soy candles or any other candles, it's a really nice fragrance for that. Um, and of course it behaves beautifully. So what's more, what's not to love uh, when you're using it for soap? And what's even nicer about this is Be Scented is gonna put this on sale. You get one pound, so 16 ounces for $10. And that is gonna be from November 1st, 2018 through November 15th, 2018, or while supplies last. So I'll put a link for that um, in the description box below just so you don't forget. But it's a really nice fragrance, and its I would describe it more as unisex. Um, I think it's definitely a masculine scent and a feminine scent, so it's nice because everyone would like it. Um, so I'm just going to, for my colors, I'm using titanium dioxide, and then I'm using the orange color from Be Scented, and then the green apple. So I was just trying to think, what is sage and what is citrus? And so I thought the green apple was a little bit sagey. And then for the orange, I'm going to use a little bit of titanium dioxide just to tone down the brightness of it and get more of a muted pastel orange. So I thought that would be um, really nice and pretty color, and I love the green. So I'm going to go ahead, keep mixing in my colors. You can see the green, and then I will be back. All right, got all the colors mixed in and using one of my favorite molds. This is the sapphire mold from Be Scented. It is a five pound silicone mold and you do not need to line it. You don't need to prop it up. It just, it works perfectly. 
They no longer carry the blue ones, um, which were the sapphire ones, but they have the diamonds, which are the white ones, which I think are probably the more preferred color anyway. I guess white, clear, whatever you kind of want to call it. Um, they're fantastic. My soaps pop right out. I do use sodium lactate in my recipe, so I think that does help, but literally my soaps pop right out of the mold. Um, anywhere between 12 and 24 hours later, just kind of depends. Um, right now it's colder in my soap shop, so the soaps are kind of setting up a little bit faster and I'm not CPOPing, um, sticking them in the oven. So like this one I was able to unmold after 12 hours, I believe. So I'm just going to keep pouring. I'm going to use my chopstick, get some nice little swirls in there, and I will be back for the cut.
All right, and I'm just gonna get everything kind of cleaned up. Love the way the top came out. Um, and really happy with the design. It smells really good when you cut it. Sometimes some of the fragrances don't necessarily smell fantastic right when you cut them, but this one smells really nice. It's one of my favorites, and I'm gonna think I'm probably gonna make some candles using this fragrance, especially since the fragrance is gonna be 10 bucks. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some more of that and be scented. And that's it. I'm going to let you guys finish up watching the cut. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button up top on YouTube. I'm getting close to my thousand, uh, thousand subscription goal of mine. I wanted to do that in about six months, so I think I'm getting pretty close. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed and who watches. Have a great day.